Oh, Lord. Oops. Hey guys. Hold on one second. One second, you guys, I'm responding to a text. It's important. Figured so Allison's here probably. Hey, Ike. Ah, kitty, kitty. Okay, so we're playing part two of Guardians of the Galaxy. And. Hey, Allison, we're doing part two today. I actually am interested in this game. Continue. We are going to continue from where we've left off. And I'm drinking the root beer. We're not seriously flying into that. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its... Wait, hold on. Okay, now I will continue resuming. Um, sorry, continue res I will continue playing, but I'm wondering, and you don't have to tell me this, Allison. Are we going to meet Ego, the living planet? You don't have to tell me, but I do want to know. Not long ago, so if I disappear, you know why. Didn't you say melatonin doesn't work on you? Ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Oh, Ego the Living Planet, so... So you haven't seen him yet, then. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. Did we meet Thanos? Flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> Hi. Hi, everybody. Okay, serious. What? Like this way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. Oh, who's We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. 360 no scope. Let's do a 360 no scope, huh? Next time, I'm flying. Monsters oh. do fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does. <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. So two million refresh subscription expired. Function. Wait, hold on. Display table. Interactive display table capable of holographic planning, diagnostic health scans, and two million recreational activities. Subscription uh, expired. 
functionality is limited. He's gonna say Contraxia again. Contraxia? Who cares if I'm predictable? Contraxia's got nice weather. Scan enemies during combat with the visor. Quickly pressing R2 twice charges a shot. Release to deliver a hit that inflicts both stagger and physical damage. That sounds like it'd be useful, actually. Here you go. Avoid falling prone by dashing when hit with a knock. Wait. Knockdown dash. Okay, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll get that one later. From up, attract enemy drops from up to fifteen meters away. And it's done. Ah, got a crick in my back because of that. Abilities. Okay, so let's see what abilities Groot has. Nothing. How do the leveling up with abilities work, anyway? Double pre okay, so charge shot is an additional move you can use to deal stagger damage directly with your weapon. Double press and hold R2 to start your charge shot. Release R2 to shoot. A charge shot inflicts both stagger and physical damage. I might have to try that. Guaranteed nano chill your favorite beverage. <laughs> Guaranteed to nano chill your favorite beverage to the perfect temperature. Keep the door closed to prevent nano machine wandering. Oh, so there's an actual legitimate reason for why I'm shutting the door all the time. But who the fuck keeps opening it then? Probably racket. Prob probably rocket. Combination heating, toasting. And flavor crystal infusion for a wide variety of food and drink. Flavor crystals currently expired by... Oh. Is that a long time? They're laying in bed to rage watch. <laughs> oh, music. Okay. And this is root. Yeah. Need new toothbrush. Is that the toilet? Oh, wow, this is a super high tech bathroom. I assume that's the toilet. That's me making an assumption. But that looks like it's the shower. And yeah, okay. Took me a bit to figure out. Right now, I'm looking for the collectibles, the stuff. I want I want to have those optional conversations. <laughs> like, I'm not even looking to escape. I'm lo or to, sorry, looking for the next part. I'm looking because I'm looking for where the collectibles are supposed to be. Come on, scan it. There we go. Prison issued kinetic resistance bag. Repeated punches trigger increasing density. Do not hang from a weak ceiling.
So these are what each individual person's room looks like. And every time I go back to these rooms, there's always different stuff, too. So I've noticed that. It changes over time. I kind of like that. Like, I wasn't able to look at these photos the last time. I was able to see that Dazzler poster, which I can't see now. Apparently, I can't look at that. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. We ain't got time for this. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Who's Bluebird? Gamora? Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird, and I was the kid. Oh. Aw. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even sense. had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Wait, Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were, and they also weren't. Pirate code. Oh, I don't have a time. Okay, um. Steal from everyone. <laughs> No, we're gonna have the Ravagers had a simple code: steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral, but they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still, you know. They hit just as many resistance ships until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid, and Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime with you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out. He could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. You must have enjoyed it. I did. <sighs> Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Resistance. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. Kind of. Oh, I don't... Okay, I thought I had to choose. Okay, um... Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> first thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy... Don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. Well, that explains a lot. He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I'd been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. He has a translation in How plan. did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the resistance. You don't explore as much as I do. a load of units too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a ravager. Talking about Yon, a lot about Yondu. Well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Explore a lot. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll see you around. Why was she just waiting outside my room anyway? 
Those scaly bastards didn't stand a chance. So whose room is in here? The spinal cord this thing. This thing looks so sinister. Hey, who said you could touch that? Rocket. Yep. I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill. <laughs> really get that check. You sound like a tour. I don't oh, what? Snore? That loud? <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? Kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course. A spinal control thingy. Unit. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists use these to keep us super soldiers in line. Super uh, they soldiers? press a big fun red button and zap instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. Yeah, it's kind of sad. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. The Kree. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. What about the scrolls? She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon? You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. Yeah. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. Well, we didn't know, what I didn't know, was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. That's really sad. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot oh. this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. No, hold on. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. I'm... Sorry, you had to go through all that rocket. For real. That yeah, was depressing. Let's let's continue snooping in his room though. Unrecognized electronic components drawing ten percent of the Milano's power supply. Unauthorized. I still think selling the runt is a bad idea. He is not a runt. You have seen him in combat. He is a vicious, cruel, bloodthirsty beast. Ha! Now that's a tagline I can endorse. Lady Hellbender will see the beast beyond you. Unauthorized to link to the captain's chair. Obviously she will. I say Muscleheads right for a change. Where are these guys? Oh, they're down there. Volatile components. Hey, you think 
I got time to build a sonic umbrella. I'm Groot. Ah, oh, come on, it's only gonna take a tick. I am Groot. Shoot, you're right. We ain't got no roto adhesive left. Team costumes? You wanna know how much these things have said, uh... Here's the deal, when the time's right, we'll give these costumes a test run. If they survive it without any holes, I'll settle up with you to say 6% of what you're asking is best I can do. Um, so, we're getting team costumes. I tried... Wait, hold on. I would do Groot. I tried Rocket, didn't go well. Yeah, I was doing Rockets, man, it's depressing. I've already done Rockets conversation. You've got to find the collectibles connected to these conversations. That's why I explore as much as I do. I don't like missing anything. Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry I like places. the fact that the doors I've already been through are no longer light up. Did have a nice That's a nice touch. It was dry. There's nothing I could interact with here. Moreau, wait, wait, what? Got no units. At least 43. That's how many times I've had to deny being a shapeshifter before Drax moved on to something else. <laughs> I still have my doubts. It's not possible for you to slip into combat armor this fast. I use a lot of lotion. What's this? Digital notepad, currently offline. Oh, it's just a tablet. So we need units. What about selling that llama beast? Lady Hellbender would never purchase such a lowly creature. Not to Lady Hellbender, obviously, but what about the nowhere market? I don't think I've been sure in we here yet. Get 20 units out of it. Now, if we still have my weapon stash, though, we could have sold the weaponry. No, if we still had my stash, we could have upgraded the Milano's weapon system and blasted Novacore out of the sky. Uh... Let him dream. High-powered code-locked magnetic surface seals weapons in place. All right. To sell, I would sell Groot. I did rocket. Does oh, I've already done that. We've already decided it was gonna go rocket. Cheer up, rodent. The rain will be refreshing. Rain is sky trash. Like we already decided rocket on that in that previous stream. Remember? It might be too late. I wish you had told me earlier. I don't know if I could change it. Wait, isn't Paramadar where we got ambushed by machete wielding goons? I believe they were hatchet wielding goons, and they were after Peter Quill. Who cares about the hatchet guys? It wasn't raining, and we weren't about to be selling one of us. If you don't want to change him, oh, I guess I could change. I didn't know I could change my mind. Well, we'll try it. We'll try it with the Groot. Oh, here's Groot's room, by the way. Hi. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf Nine tracks, but you're awfully composed. I am endeavoring to contain my enthusiasm. Our mission is of prime importance. Really? No, you are correct. I am very eager. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. You don't think Rocket would have heard that? Hey, buddy. I was just uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. I, I don't... Um, okay. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. 
Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages, and even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinism? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learn to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. I'm guessing he said yes. You no, know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years. Do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> I'd be curious. TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. Honestly, man. He doesn't know what TV is. You're lucky you have Rocket. I mean. I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... Good. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows? <laughs> If this thing does have your language in it, and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. Sorry. We're almost done. I'm almost done. I want to get all these conversations done. Money if we'd stop by nowhere first. Will you please stop? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but how about some positivity for a change? Positivity? How? We're on some crazy hurricane planet, about to be soaked to the bone, on our way to squeeze our last chance at freedom out of some mythical warlord. Lady. War lady. Additionally, Nova Corps confiscated your crate and weapons. Okay. Yeah, that too. I'd forgotten about that. Do you need a hug? No. Hey, you. Space Llama. You're way too soft to be a monster, big girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> No, there's something more vicious about this thing that I don't know. I don't trust trust it just yet. Let's talk to you. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. That's sweet, but we both know you ain't got money to buy no umbrellas. Okay. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. We accomplish nothing by lingering in the ship. How about staying dry? I That's like an accomplishment. I like to linger. I am very explorative and I love looking for Easter eggs, okay? Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. It's not, it's leather. Well, it might be. Depends on if it's uh, water treated. Are we going? Because I'm ready. Okay. Well, let me talk to Rocket and then we can leave, okay? Of course. It had to be raining. I hate wet. Wow. Didn't say a whole lot worth okay, saying. Okay, here we go. Should have just left. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Help me! 
Highlander's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> impregnate it. Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. We're gonna go impregnate a castle. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Out! <laughs> Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. This hey, is beautiful. Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got this. This don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost Wait. sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. So I do not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And the queen. And stinking wreck. Oh! That was way too close. Yeah, that was pretty close. I'm trying to keep my team together, damn it. They keep arguing. Wait, big blue ones. Fuck. I just died. Bad timing, I guess. Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger. Yeah, you would live. If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship. I just died, though. Hurry up, hurry up! Okay, now that was meant to happen. Everyone okay? We should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. By this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. Is that Jello? Eh, not sure. Looks delicious. Stay away from it. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. But ah! I'm going to try that double charge thing. Watch out! Oh, fuck. Rush him, Jax! I smell it, too! Nice. I'll take your word on that! Their outsides regenerate! Smack its insides! Just some general life advice! Uh, prepare for pain! Come on! Watch the spiky things! Now is not the time for watching what you will! Tear out their insides! Enough with the jelly! Break its bones! Hey, hold on! I think she's got better things to do. 
Oh, I could turn them off too. Come on! Fuck, they keep getting stronger and stronger. Listen, do you think we got this? What are these things? Shoot first, catch them later. Jelly's on the offensive! I think we got this, though. I ain't too worried. Yeah, it seems pretty easy. Stay away from its sharp edges! Hold him done. down his size, Gamora. I will end you. Mm. Hold him down, Groot. We need to destroy the jelly. We just did. There, see. So that's what a monster around here looks like. We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. We sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb Yeah, it looks... I was thinking it looks a lot like gelatin. Kind of makes me hungry for dessert. So why did it tell me to check out my... thing here? Clearly nobody is ready to be leveled up yet. Wait, right, hold on, what am I looking at here? Characters, factions, creatures, wait, what's this? The Galactic Compendium. Tutorials. These are all tutorials that I've done, okay. Creatures, archives. Oh, these are all okay. I think these are all the the, the uh, um, stories I was picking up. Items, factions. Nicolet Gold. I actually want to learn a little bit more about her. Writer Steve Gerber, artist. First appeared in Marvel 1976. Oh, okay, so she's Marv Wolfman. Okay. Okay, I, all right, shit, I didn't know. Yeah, I actually am a pretty big fan, but Marv Wolfman's also worked for DC Comics, too. You guys will find that's not uncommon for writers and comic books to go between the two big companies, by the way. They've shared a lot of writers. I mean, Marv Wolfman, if I remember correctly, also had a hand in helping to create the Teen Titans. Put 
places. And that's the DC Comics. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was uh, one half of the team that helped create it. This hostel could be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. And all those bales, shoot stuff. Words to live by. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Hold on. I'm actually going to look that up just to be sure. I'm pretty certain it is, but I don't want to misinform you. You ever fly one of these things, Gamora? No doubt she shot them down. I fought the Shatari, same as you. Loose reactor isn't dangerous, is it? It can be, if you know what you're doing. Yeah, hey, I was right. The mud in this area I knew it. Queer. It's them jellyfish. Worked on Marvel Comics, The Tomb they, of Dracula. Uh, you know. He worked with artist Gene Cullen, created the Vampire Slayer Blade, and he worked for DC Comics, the new Teen Titans, and the Crisis on Infinite Earths limited series with George Perez. I knew it. I knew I recognized that name. I know my shit. Don't ever doubt me, even though I was technically the one doubting myself. Look, Marv Wolfman's not one of, uh, one of the ones I know the best, okay? Is getting all up in my fur. I just knew that he helped create the Teen Titans. Well... Is it dryer up the there? new Teen Titans. No. That would be the version of the characters that we would know with uh, Nightwing and and Starfire and whatnot. Hear what? It was probably Drax's stomach. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? But if it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. What's a resistance ship doing all the way out here anyway? It is doing nothing. It is clearly crashed. I mean, what was it doing? You don't think the war made it all the way out here? The war was everywhere. Hold on, I want to know what that is. Why, why I can't... Why can't I scan that? I ain't seen one of these fly swatters in years. Working or otherwise. It is not great. We made it halfway up. I'm going to get ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. Need your expert skills again, Rocket. Connected to nearby devices. Yep, there we go. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel is all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Do I want to go over there or there? That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Does he have a thing for Lady Hellbender? Uh, okay, I mean, this is a, what I was trying to get at earlier, so... I don't like how it sounds like there's something just over this ridge. And it sounds gross and slimy and I don't like it. I <laughs> gross and slimy. Careful. Looks like something big moved through here. Yay. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Mm. Nope. Only question is, which one of us it will jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. Optimistic. It's definitely gonna try to jump us. Hi! I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, menagerie? I bet you are. What 
What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brute transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Hidden bodies. Okay, we're going into the cave. Please don't let there be a space baron here. Pussing out. Hey, if anything happens to me, who would take care of you guys? How thoughtful. And hello, mystery goo. Well, the fact that they're not following me in here obviously says that I'm not supposed to even be going this way anyway, but I don't care. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, it's probably a monster you're on a cave. Monster planet. Yeah. Recently hatched egg species not in the database. They don't look hatched to me. But maybe they are hatched, I guess. They still look whole, but to me that's alarming either way, so Parasitic foreign organism, fragile structure, parasitic, oh! I want to fight these jerks. Crap. Where are my friends, damn it? Some friends you guys are. Guess this is what I get. Crap. I did it. Did I miss it? What are we doing? Get some jelly, dudes. I took care of it. What, Scott? I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Nice! Hidden passage! Everything okay in there? Are you dead, Peter Quill? Or merely severely wounded? Hey, is that a... Stop worrying! Didn't... Hands? Okay, so... Am I actually supposed Peter to be exploring Quill. this cave? The wait up there. He may need to get between the other two. The rate they're going at it. At least he's got long arms. Did they follow me in here? Listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. Okay. Right. Is he gonna tell me that he actually cares about me this whole time? Guardians of the Galaxy outfit found. I found an outfit for Gamora. Actually, I don't hate it. Peter's always talking about how someday they'll make a movie about us, which is apparently like Holovid Entertainment, but much more primitive. He says I would be the anti-hero, but I would have to ditch my armor and worry more about... Uh, so, uh, I can't read all of it, but... Guardians of the Galaxy... Oh, that's her MCU? Oh, okay, from 2014. Yeah, just a sec. We're having a moment. A moment?
Is this as high as I can go? You think Drax and Gamora have killed each other by now? The real question is who'd come out on top. <laughs> and? Always bet on the bigger gun. And Drax is a walking bigger gun. Oh, rookie mistake, man. Speed over strength, always. Besides, Gamora scares me. <laughs> no argument there. You done exploring, Quill? No. I really need to talk to you. Oh, hey, you've been there the whole time. But I'll never be done. Um, personal. I need to get off my chest. All right, man. What's up? Look, there's no easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. I think I'm dying, Quill. Even with all these freaking augmentations, shut knows what else. I, I just. I had no idea, man. Does Groot know? No, 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 no. And uh, you can't tell him. You're to destroy him. Why does he the think he's dying? Just promise me you'll take care of Groot. I promise. Yeah, duh. And, uh, are you in that, uh, are you messing with me? <laughs> um, you know, say you'll bury me <laughs> in the, in the Milano. <laughs> Fucking little asshole. <laughs> oh, I can't believe your face. <laughs> it was like, I, I can't even describe your freaking face. What is wrong with you? Why would you even joke about something like that? Because it's funny. You know no. It's funny? Come on. Not that serious, no. But I mean what I said. Something goes sideways with Lady Weather Report. You better keep that promise and take care of Groot. Of course I would. Am I done exploring? Dying. Come on. The sooner we get the Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. I'm very curious as to what the hell those giant arms coming out the side of the wall here are. I don't know why, but I'm probably the only one alarmed with the fact that there's giant giant arms here, right? I wonder what the rest of the statue looks like. So glad I explored. So, uh, these tracks, Gamora. You're just messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, Rodent? I'm cautious. You try being this size. I gotta watch out for things that can eat me in one gulp. Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Good enough. Um, not good enough for me, but it's not as if we've got much of a choice. I mean, look at all this different area, all the, all, all of this different, these different ways we can go. See, so I, I went down there already. That's where Groot is standing in front of. Can I go this way? Or is this the way we came? Where did you learn this clairvoyance, assassin? Huh? You never learned to track? Tathians do not chase our prey. We lure them and await the perfect moment to strike. That can take a while. Patience is a virtue in the hunt. Oh, I'm not going to read all this. Huh. 
this I guess Allison fell asleep. All those trees look like like giant strings of saltwater taffy. What? What's taffy? It's sweet and delicious, and it melts in your mouth. And looks like a tree, apparently. And it is made of salted water. No, that's just the name. Actually, I do believe there is salted water in taffy. I might be wrong. Ah, this is further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted, we never go anywhere. Really? This jungle is the chest. And everything's trying to kill you sort of way. Sure. That is precisely why it is the chest. Uh, pruning recommended for pollinator access. I don't get what that means. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Um, Gamora? You get us through here, Gamora. Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. <laughs> Name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. And if we want an audience, we'll have to start showing some respect. This from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. Defend what Gamora. Sister Nebula. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. Th that too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Maybe. Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside... Maybe Hellbender's fortress. So they want me to go this way in the game here, but I am going to go ahead and explore this previously blocked off area that I just freed. There we go. Yeah, going this way. No? That way? Which way am I supposed to go if both care if both way has characters facing them? I don't want to progress the story without exploring every little nook and cranny that I can. Uh. Chosen sacrifice is hiding from the monster gods beneath Seknarf Nine's protective forest. Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terran. That's what makes our quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. <coughs> so they already know that he's that he's um part um not human alien, I guess. Part Terran. So they already know his 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 uh, Dead end. father. That's just right. Wait, is that Chitauri Tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, 
It is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What are you? Do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me down. We're not throwing rocks. No. Very well. You sons of forking dogs. How will we cross? Don't face Look dogs. around. We'll find another way. Of course. Of course I defended you, Rocket. I am not about to... I know he would have been yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm fine. My problem oh, is no. Meathead trying to huck me. Not a chance. You are overreacting. I did not throw you. Only because Quill stopped you. Then there should be no problem. Oh, yeah. I'm watching you. You can tap it. No, this... <laughs> Do not be so sure. There has to be something we can use. Maybe Poor a Rocket. tall tree? Taller than Groot. Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter? Try yeah. To. Shatari tech doing on a backwater mud wall like this. Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she was real cozy with the bugs. <laughs> Ridiculous. Crap. Oh, crap. I always time it bad. I think these statues are of the monsters on this planet? They're made of rock. Thank you. I mean, maybe this is why Elven is so hot for us. Just another religious nut. There's not a nut of any kind. There's a conqueror. Maybe these were from the people she conquered. Wow, it is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right. My shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. That bridge isn't the only thing, Chitari. Some of these statues look familiar. Catch my drift. These mouth breathers worship monsters. Maybe they'd have seen spacefaring bugs as gods. You belittle the Sechnarfians. Know nothing of their ways. Hey, I found more ruins down I did. Ah. Perhaps we could fashion a catapult. We're not throwing rocket. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can there we go. This? I may have angered them. Them? Great. That's just great. All right, let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. <laughs> Whoop. Great place to leave a skull. Wait, hear that? Oh. up, people. Incoming! <laughs> oh, wow. Sure did. Oh, crap. 
Now is the time to strike! Let's make him feel it! Next time, you're on your own! I thought I was a good oh, like Come on! Nah. I'm starting to miss those jelly things. I prefer a new challenge. Turn it down, Bruce. Wreck of tracks. He thinks we're coming handy a second ago. I don't think that I'm going to survive them over the ah, The final kill goes to me. Beware. Crap. Nice. We can do combo kills. So, abilities. Van the hammer. Dealing heavy damage spread across one or more enemies. I should have considered other things first. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units says it ain't. He doesn't have 50 units. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Seriously? Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh! Make up a legend. She possesses flying creatures. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Uh, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sector Nine. Ha! <laughs> that, that is preposterous. That one's <laughs> preposterous. So. Uh, if I start making it up, apparently they make it up with me too. That's fun. Gamora caught on right away. What's that? Each represents souls sacrificed by priests to the old religion's monster gods prior to Lady Hellbender's rule. Hello! might be something big on the other side. Anyone still think he's a monster? Drax, wanna clear a path? Only if you admit that every one of my Lady Hellbender stories is true. So that's a no. Rocket, care to bet on what's on the other side of these vines? Maybe. How much? You guys are unbelievable. Oh, wow. I was just going to do her next. I knew that she could do it. I just didn't know. So, so I could, I could literally exhaust every option in the last person. We'll just do it. 
or one Chitari infant. Interesting. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No. Just making someone else to cross the death pit first. Just go. No, you just someone go. Someone go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, leaders generally will go first, yes. Safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Honestly, Rocket should have gone first, being the smallest. It would have been a lot easier for him. Easy does it. What the war? Groot says there's something down there. A monster. It there is. Yep. Matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, oh, no. Yep, definitely saw the giant head. Oh, no. Damn it, I missed. Oh. Alice said I just died. Uh. <laughs> oh, you saw that. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. I got it. Wait. Not a clue. Are we gonna kill it? A monster. <laughs> its marker vanishes, revealing the next. Once all markers are gone, the enemy's last health bar appears. So we don't have any idea how much health this thing's going to have. How much health does this thing have? When the prompt appears, press triangle to trigger a call to action attack. If your momentum gauge is active, a call to action prompt may appear during combat. Press it to trigger a special guardian attack. Successful calls to action will leave enemies crippled. Uncanny. Cowardly beast, finish the battle. Wait. I don't know that we're supposed to kill it. Aww. Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. <laughs> yes. So we could spend points. Um. No, 
but we can't spend points apparently. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. The scale is down. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with the fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the road it lies. Oh, okay, thank you. Perhaps your magical mask can relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. Will you stop calling it that? Surprise, this thing has been picked clean for self. The planet is no place to carry it. He's got a point. Hey, Quill, mind giving the old girl a scan? Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Some shit. Yeah. All right, just better not get jumped by any monsters. There you go. For you, so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Gamora? How high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. If that bomber's full of old dead Nova, maybe we should, uh, you know, lighten their pockets. By now, scavengers would have scattered the bones across the region. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Alright, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Rusted out, you can hardly see the clue. Long time since the war. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? Put it there, buddy. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes. That's why I can easily carry this great weight. Easily. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. Fortress. You think any bodies are still in there? All mummified and stuff? Probably. No giant monster. It's all good. Any suggestions? Gamora, can you use the reactor to get up the ship? Not when it's over there. Anything you can do with that busted reactor unit rocket? Oh yeah, tons of stuff. Just not moving. Hey big guy, lift that thing up. Where am I taking you to? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe oh, the right ships there. we've seen just got taken down by the storms. You think this place was like a secret base? Could be. Middle of nowhere, inhospitable surface, storms provide cover from detection. Maybe refugees fled here. I think I'd rather have been in the war. What's next, Peter Quill? Climbing it? Duh. Maybe. Possibly. Sure, we want to go back up. I'm getting used to not being completely soaked. Can you get up there now? This brings back memories. Impressive. See, that was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. 
Teamwork? What did you do? I helped in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind pummel treetops. Here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender! I think he is praising Gamora. For sure. <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Looks like there's a way down here. Well, you gotta see this ship. Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri feared her. They didn't fear many back then. <laughs> okay, here we go! Uh oh. Get up. Come on, get up. Get up. Slimy. Uh, guys. You might want to wait to come down here. Groot will get us out. Marcus is so deep. In a jam voice? Hi. Smack reach. Groot can reach. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Groot. Groot. Well, do something. Like what? Well, Groot. Oh. Peter? Peter! What was I supposed to do? Substitute, <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, Rocket just died, and it's all Allison's fault. Because Gelatin Slime. thought he was de delicious. Uh, guys! You might want to wait to come down here. Why the Flarkus is so deep? In a jam voice? <clears throat> you think? Some smack reach! Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! It's like what? Flark, Flark. Well. Rocket. Damn it! Okay, so I only had the right side in on time. I think I just figured out what I need to do. Can we skip this, please? Uh, guys, you might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? <clears throat> you think? Some smack reach. Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well. Do something! Like what? I'm gonna fail again, aren't I? Well, this shouldn't be too hard. I did it! What did you just do? <sighs> Sorcery. So cold. Rocket! Somebody get him out of there!
Hi. My toys, what happened? I don't know. My glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoy tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull scum like this. Just, you, just let him take a look at it. Well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, they might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys. Sorcery. Here we go again. Could we learn how to do the freezy freeze thing? Equipping an ice shot. Hi. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. There's a little hole there. Might be able to work something loose from Maintenance the Maintenance robots. A little hole there. Let's send in. Wonder if we can get anything to pop. Groot. Groot. can you get that cannon out? <laughs> trying to rip his limbs off, Quill? Drax, pull that thing. Very well. Aw. I was gonna... I was gonna send it. Impossible! We'll not stay in place! You couldn't just hold it for a while off. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. Oh, I see what they want me to do. I cannot hold it forever! Now we gotta get the next one out. Drax. Drax you, uh... Send the abomination. It enjoys scrounging through refuse. Fuck you. Yeah. I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these buck bombers. Fine. Drax. Oh, what reeks in here? That. Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and nothing. Nothing, huh? You know what? Spark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps in. Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump started the thing. Rock, you okay? <laughs> yeah! And dry now too! There, now we have our way up. Gamora, Gamora come, come on, honey. Through that jungle. Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be playing dead. A murder tentacle? Is that something we faced earlier? 
Which one of those creatures? Oh yeah, okay, that one. That is not a happy monster. What? Oh, on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> You are dead! Stopping him again. How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson to you. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like. Knock it off, guys. We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. And stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Yeah, we are not putting one of our teammates' lives at risk for no reason. I'm sorry, we are not chucking Rocket, okay? His name may be Rocket, but that no does not mean he's going to fly me. like one, okay? If we can't get across it, maybe we can go around it. Looking for cracks, caves, or crevices, people? I feel like I've heard you say that before, but in a different context. Is that a dirty joke? The fortress is this way, if you will. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? No. I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Quill's the greatest explorer I ever met. Uh. He wants to know how cool guns can just make ice out of nothing. You don't have a clue, do you? He won't let me take him apart to find out. I'm gonna say crystal. No, no, no. Scratch that. I need dimensional crystal. Perhaps it's magic. It's not magic! Okay, yeah, just, you know, turning water into ice. Show off! Turning water into ice. I think I can see my house from here. What are Hi. you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Hey guys! Look at this, I'm up here. I sure hope that bloodless beast ain't running back to mommy to tell us. You should have aimed for its head, Gamora. At least I took an appendage. What did you do? Hey, that thing is like seriously broke. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if it just spilled over and died somewhere in the jungle after all that damage I caused. You think it died of excessive bruising? I bruised it as well. This time, what am I gonna Rocket, do? Rocket, do we have a frostbite kit on the Milano? Worried about Quill misfiring his new toy? It will not be the first time. I am Groot. Oh yeah. wait, <laughs> Groot still has a knot hole where Quill shot him. Said he was practicing uh, Clem Greasewood. Clint Greasewood. Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, not Greasedwood. Clint Eastwood, man. You know, you guys should take my ideas more seriously. I do have augmented intelligence. What is 55,787,880 divided by 9,512? 5,863. Give or take. I got a glitchy calculator chip that's always off by two. What is always four plus off two? by two. Four. <laughs> What is two plus four? Eight! <laughs> and he's our engineer? Everyone's looking at me. I mean, to be fair, you need to get a new uh, calculator chip. Shouldn't we at least have a leash? 
revenge for our monster. There's usually some acting involved in this kind of infiltration. Lady Hellbender is an astute buyer. Whatever she will want, we are selling. She will not. I'm with Gamora on this one. Looking the part is half the battle. So, Allison, you, you said I should change from uh, Rocket to Groot? <laughs> I'm guessing you went with Rocket before. Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? Anyone but Drax? I just heard that she's fair but terrifying. Make of that what you will. It suggests we have some room to haggle. Unless she decides to kill us. Did I miss? No, okay. So what am I missing then? figure these out. We aren't too far off from her fortress, though. We'll take your word for it, bud. Take his word for what? He says the soil here is, like, supercharged with plant. You get him a little bit of a buzz just walking on it. Oh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Wait. I wonder if there's a common monster hunter uniform. Like, are they organized, or maybe even just a style? Who would adorn themselves with the fangs and teeth of the prey? Yeah, I'm not pulling that off. Although I do like. Why styles. is? Their garments would be full of holes, shredded by the beasts. I gotta be able to well, do this bridge at some point. Local network uh, connected to nearby devices. Chitari traversal technology bridge expands and retracts to traverse chasms of varying width. I used to believe that the rodent had the most impressive firearm in our group. I have changed my mind. Quill's ice cube machines? They are versatile. Maybe, but my sweet death cannon still got 17,000 different murder configurations. Uh, such as? Eh, just to name a few. You got kill, kill big, kill fast, kill wide, kill long, crowd kill, oh, oh, kill messy. <laughs> uh, kill clean too, but, uh, you know, I haven't tried that one yet. Why do they stop to look at me after every dialogue? It is so weird how they all just stop and look at me. Okay, um... Allison, could you give me a clue? Because I'm not going to figure this out without a little bit of help. And these the assholes sure ain't helping. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. I think this I figured it out. Never mind. If something should attack. We're not going to be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. It's okay, I think I figured it out anyway. Smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, not talking. Not even breathing. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Maybe exploit it with enough force. Oh. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will not have this. It's a bridge to take that. That is disturbingly fragrant. After you. I'm sure that ticked him off. But no, I am not going to risk my, my, my comrade's life like that, son. Did it work? It is a little weird. What's in there? <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud. 
Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes. Could be. Monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got Monster work food. Your taste, the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Yeah, true. Why are you whispering? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it, because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. He just opened it on accident. Oh, hey! Wait, are they mates? That's romantic and um, terrifying, actually. Yeah, I know the ice isn't going to do much. We get lost in the paint. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket, in so many shades. But we're too excited. This love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Feel my rock! This is gonna be fun! Oh, did I do it? Somebody tell them we're just passing through! Oh wait. Camera. Yeah. Get him, Groot! Yes! Think it's too late to apologize? Fuck. The time for diplomacy tracks! Scary Kitty Cat's one tough customer! Valley, we got this stuff right like where we want! We shall make this ball permanent! So there are different combination uh, possibilities for final attacks. You are coming with me. We better hurry. Depending on how many teammates are available, then, because that was just Drax, Rocket, and myself. Because Groot and Gamora were frozen.
Groot causes roots to shoot up from the ground, dealing moderate damage to enemies in range, and launching small to medium enemies in the air. And grouping them for a follow-up attack. Okay, that's the one I think I want. Slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, itchy we're fur. A team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. <laughs> Smell like butt together. Come on, let's do this, guys. We could all smell like butt. We should all strive to smell like butt. Oh, ain't never heard of roads. You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Seknarf 9 is a sanctuary. They say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you. Oh, Groot says we should check things out over here. That thing heavy, Quill? Come on, Groot. Give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth it. Yep. For you, maybe. I love easy. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take two. One for every precious hair follicle on this bomb. Give or take two, get it? Because this count's always off by two. It's bizarre. Hey, at least I have some to count. So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Hellbender? Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. I can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Oh, Groot's got an outfit. Five Horsemen of the Apocalypse outfit. Outfits. Where he's frothing evil. So he became a horseman of the apocalypse. Looks kind of cool. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady A? We're gonna fight a monster queen? She would be a wonderful adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender in your adversary. If all goes well, he's gonna be our business partner. And if all don't go well, then we'll know he should have sold Groot instead. So we're gonna try selling Groot and see how that works. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. Behind the Fortress of Solitude, maybe? What the fuck? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid blah monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but damn it, I'm not about to lose this deal after everything we've been through. So I'm yeah. going to march into that ridiculously awesome palace and try to sell the crap out awesome. of one of my value team members. Because I think we've all earned that chance. I am eager to behold the monster queen.
can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a fork in infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being infinity dramatic, bridge. Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the flark at them is looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Yes, that's the group. Maybe Moore's right. We should try selling Groot instead. What? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. Peter Quill, we're not a democracy, Drax. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. Rocket is so cute. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. I can't help it, he is cute. Okay, he's gonna make a mess of shit. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. It doesn't matter who I pick. To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. It doesn't matter who I pick. He's None shit's nobody. gonna go down. Menacing, like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad. Not bad. Rocket is so cute, though. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Okay, whoa, whoa! A little bit close. Why isn't it trying to eat us? I don't know what you heard, but we just want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me. But maybe it responds good to soothing tones. That is actually very true with some animals, so it's a possibility. Some animals do respond we much better to soothing tones. Song or something we could sing to kill the time. Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. <laughs> 0 0.9. 2.1. 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. He's gonna keep counting, okay. 0.66 Flashback? I'm not even doing it anymore. He's gonna have to weather treat the hell out of that leather jacket once it gets back. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Oh no. Right. This is where the dream earlier left off at. I used to play this a lot when she was a kid. Grandpa. It's been busted ever since I can remember. Go, go, go! 
be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Maybe this can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Oh god. Just keep shutting the refrigerator door no matter what world I'm in, apparently. Decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your back down, Slowpoke. Yeah, there it is. Pac Man. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Thirteen. So after this dream sequence, Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. We're gonna I'm end sure the stream. All the girls are gonna be falling Mom. all over. What did you wish for? He Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie. Tonight. Come on. Ooh. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were hockey sleeping mask? in my bed the next three nights. This one's not so bad. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. Damn. No, I just, I, I wanted us to... Is it bothering me that, that like, tonight, the other you know? half of his Maybe candles need to be blown out? You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Compromise. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it, tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house. Yes, it you does. It. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. Reassure. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. He's gotta blow out the other half of those candles, right? Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Um... Can we blow out the other half of my candles first? The cake looks super professional. You yeah, sure you it, didn't buy it? It does. It does actually look really Save good. Save the flattery, Peter. 
But um, also, the, there's like five candles that still need to be blown out. Can we, can we, can we deal with that, please? So what? Now you're too old for gifts? Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. That's cute. Boring. You know, I forgot what electronics in the 80s look like. Promise me you'll be safe tonight, Peter. We're just going to the movies. What could happen? Plenty could happen. Aw. Wait, they had, a, they had a cat? Is that a cat? I think that's a cat. They have a... Oh. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. I want you home right after the movie. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. So he's got, like, basically the entire basement to himself. Oh, they have a dog. That wasn't a cat. It was a dog. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Oh, that's depressing. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. I knew there had to be a catch. That is, like, super depressing. This dog is waiting for his original owners to come back. Oh, crap. I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. World Conquest. Turn off the TV. Alright. Uh, let's go upstairs. Yeah, that's that's the, so I love how they gloss over some of the really depressing factors in this game. Like this dog's original owners are like dead and he's waiting at the door. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without grandpa's tricks. I might be wrong, though. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. What was her original plan? Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. This is depressing. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Dance says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Possibly. Oh, and the poor dog is whimpering. Okay, that's... Really sad. Also, look at this freaking tub! Oh my god, I would love to have a tub like that. Yes! The only thing that'd make that better is if it had jets in there. Oh my god, could you imagine? I miss him so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Uh. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, I think I've checked everything out. Let's just go. Let's go, you guys. Did I look at that? Yeah, I already looked at that. Okay. What's Dad got for us? 
We'll look around Mom's room first. And Mom's got a freaking beautiful view. Look at this! I would kill for that. I would kill for that view. And that window. That's a nice window, too. The window cell. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? Okay, we're supposed to open it together. At last. Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? Okay, you guys, we are saving here. We are ending the stream. If you guys liked the stream, if you had fun, like, share, subscribe, follow, notify, to become a member of the Game Squad. Let us go and see who is on live so we can raid, huh? Oh, Pinky E Plays is live. All right, I will see you all later, okay?